Julia Child, chef and inventor. Julia Child was born August 15th of 1912 in Pasadena, California. She was an American cooking expert, author, and television personality noted for her promotion of traditional French cuisine, especially through her programs on public TV. The daughter of a prosperous financier and consultant, Child graduated from Smith College and worked occasionally in advertising. During World War II, from 1941 to 1945, she performed clerical work in Ceylon, Sri Lanka, and China for the Office of Strategic Services. OSS was the forerunner for the Central Intelligence Agency, where she met Paul Cushing Child, whom she married in 1945. Some people may know something of her surprising background. Julia Child was an intelligence officer during World War II. However, the details are worth illuminating. She played a crucial role in the invention of a shark repellent that was used to prevent the predators from detonating submarine mines. Due to her education experience outside of the government, people in OSS felt that Child was better qualified to a higher position and soon started working as a junior research assistant for Colonel William J. Donovan, who was the dire director of the Office of Strategic Services. She later worked with the OSS Emergency Sea Rescue Equipment Section and while doing so helped develop the shark repellent. The repellent's purpose was to prevent sharks from coming into contact with and thus detonating submarine mines, and to save the lives of seamen and pilots who found themselves in open water due to enemy attacks or accidents. The repellent was Child's first big recipe and according to an article published by Christian Science Monitor back in 2012, she said, I could boil water for tea, but my first big recipe was shark repellent that I mixed in a bathtub for the Navy, for the men who might get caught in the water. During the child's six-year post-war stay in Paris, she attended the Cordon Bleu cooking school for six months and studied privately with the master chef, Max Bugnard. She and two French friends later wrote the best-selling cookbook, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, which was praised for its clarity and comprehensiveness. Her culinary crusade was slated plainly in her introduction. This is a book for the servantless American cook who can be unconcerned on occasion with budgets, waistlines, time schedules, children's meals, the parent chauffeur den mother syndrome, or anything else which might interfere with the enjoyment of producing something wonderful to eat. The child settled in Cambridge, Massachusetts in 1961, though they continued to visit Europe regularly and maintained a house in south of France. A promotional appearance on television led to an offer to host a cooking series on Boston's public television station. The French Chef premiered in 1962. The immensely popular show went on to air for 206 episodes. It is credited with convincing the American public to try cooking French food at home. With her humor, exuberance, and unpretentiousness, Child became an unlikely star. Although she often made mistakes while cooking, she remained unflappable, encouraging viewers to accept mishaps and continue cooking. Child, who had a towering six foot two inch frame and a distinct warbling voice, ended each show with Bon Appetit. Child was a recipient of numerous honors during her career, including a Peabody Award in 1964 and an Emmy Award in 1966 for her television work and a National Book Award in 1980. She was appointed to the French Legion of Honor in 2000 and received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2003. A portion of her kitchen and some of her kitchen implements were put on display at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. Julia Child. <laughs>